Welcome back. Today we're going to carry on with a mystery project because I need to wait for some parts for the diesel generator that sits here. Um, I wrapped those shafts in cling film, but apparently he was still rusting. Look here. He was going into the cling film here. Anyway, we dialed it in and uh, it looks good so far. It's about half a hundred of a millimeter. That's okay. Um, we put a steady on because we're gonna pull the tail stock back and put one of the plates on. That's our next job. So it's dialed in. Uh, I think I use a bigger center here. That's uh, that's probably a bit too small. So let's rip that cling film off, and uh, now we're gonna fit a plate. So we dialed it in. Uh, I don't know if it's visible, but it's about 200. Uh, you can actually adjust it. These are the grub screws for the, for the tape lock here. And if you tighten them side by side, you can actually adjust it. It's uh, it's okay. Um, that's And that's the reason why I made that surface flat, so I can indicate it here because that's the same surface as the taper lock or taper lock bushing and so I can indicate it here because this one doesn't matter actually so what we're gonna do is now uh, we skim the outside make a chamfer um, make it fit into our some light into our tubes here they got 308 I think we'll check it in a minute so basically, chamfer here, so we can weld it, and uh, obviously make it round because the other diameter is not round. Uh, it's so it's doing all right. It's uh, these taper lock bushings. They are they're quite accurate, and it it does. Um, they're usually quite repeatable. I will mark it, and once we're done, we we'll mill a keyway. Um, I also mark the. The life center, just in case I take it out, uh, because this may, this may have some run out as well. We run the steady here to make sure it's not chattering, because that will chatter on this length. I can't do it on the other side because uh, otherwise I can't take it off, or I couldn't fit it, whatever. Anyway, we're happy so far. Uh, all the machine up and uh, do a little bit of turning. Oh, we tried to make it round first because there is a there's a, a lead in from from cutting the, the laser cut and uh, doing well. Uh, and there's a lot of mill scale as well. Half a millimeter depth of cut. Uh, I want to go to the mill scale first, and then it's just getting blue, so we are at the end of the speed here. Chinese WNMG well used already, but I didn't want to use a new one because of that milk gel that builds the injury so quickly. So we're now doing a full cut. I think that's causing the shutter, it's actually from cutting. 
we'll see. Do another cut. And uh, then we'll see. I changed the feed rate a bit and it's much better now. Uh, our target is 312.5. We use the big Chesterman and we can see we got a fair bit to go. Uh, I would say about that's set to 312.5 here. So that's set to 312.5. We got about 5 millimeter in diameter to go. This is the 600 millimeter caliper I bought recently because I didn't have anything in that length. Comes handy now. So we got about 5 millimeter to go. Uh, and then we double check it with a micrometer. Uh, I know one of the tubes is not, not round. It may be a millimeter or so diversion, so we probably need to press that a little bit on the press to get it round again. Uh, yeah, let's take that five millimeters off or four millimeters and uh, we'll welcome back. So we got about two millimeters to go and uh, then we'll, we'll make the chamfer here. Uh, that's the reason why I got the compound set to 45 degrees. We're not going to do that today. It's late. Dinner time. Carry on tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time. Got it out. Uh, the bottom just fits in this rubber grommets, which is that's it. And here you can see what the problem is. I had to modify it.